Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. I will continue estimation. In last class, uh, we could cover the confidence interval of swing single population mean and confidence interval for single population variance, confidence interval for the difference between two population means and confidence interval for the ratio of two population means, uh, uh, ratio of two population variances. This is not covered. And now, within 20 minutes of time, um, we will try to cover these two concepts that confidence interval for the difference between two population means and ratio of two population variances. So, if I quickly recapitulate what we have discussed from the um, confidence interval point of view with reference to a single population means, I said that the quantity y bar minus mu by sigma by root n this follows z distribution. So, when it will be z and t those kind of discussions I have already made you see the first few sl uh, slides of my previous lecture you will know. And we say that you will create a interval which is known as low and low, low limit and high limit with reference to in the normal distribution this will be plus z alpha by 2 and this will be minus z alpha by 2, where alpha by 2 is the area under the curve right to this point upper point limit. Similarly, this one is also alpha by 2 which is left to the lower limit and there is the mean of this quantity as it is normally distributed unit normal and 0 1. So, this value is 0. Our sole purpose is basically to find out what is the interval of the of the different estimation. So, accordingly we have created the probability low less than equal to y bar minus mu by sigma by root n less than equal to u and this is 1 by alpha and accordingly this L and for z distribution L and uh, u are replaced by minus z alpha by 2 less than equal to y bar minus mu sigma by root n and plus z alpha by 2. This is 1 by 1, 1 minus alpha and our inter confidence interval is this. This we have computed and you got the uh, interval for mu. Okay. No longer we have one population, we have two different populations. So, two population. Okay. So, two populations case population 1 suppose the variable of interest is y 1 and its mean is mu 1 and variance is sigma 1 square and you have collected n 1 data points. Population 2 variable of interest y 2 mean is mu 2 um, and and your this one is sigma 2 square variance and you collected it at mu 2. Okay. So, so what what we want basically there is the, uh, the, the slight difference is there the variable of interest is same y for the two population point, point of view, but as population 1 is having certain distribution of with this and population 2 with this fine. So, you collected two different sample of size n 1 and n 2 and this sample are independent samples. Okay. Now, you from the sample you are you we are denoting that sample 1 from population 1 and sample 2 from population 2. So, sample 1 point estimation is y 1 bar, sample 2 point estimation is y 2 bar from mean point of view, 
from standard deviation point of view or variance point of view s 1 square and s 2 square. Okay. So, s 1 square and s 2 square fine. So, <coughs> what is our objective here? We want to find the confidence interval for mu 1 minus mu 2 c i for mu 1 minus mu 2. So, so, what is mu 1? Mu 1 is the population mean for the variable of interest y and mu 2 a from population 1 mu 2 is for population 2. Okay. So, so what if what is the then sample equivalence definitely y 1 bar minus y 2 bar. So, you collect a sample from first population and sim and another one from second population compute this you are getting this you repeat this process you will be getting several such y 1 bar minus y 2 bar values. So, y 1 bar y 2 bar is the random variable of interest y 1 bar minus y 2 bar. Okay. So, what do you require now you require to know what is the expected value of y 1 bar minus y 2 bar this will be expected value of y 1 bar minus expected value of y 2 bar and this will be mu 1 minus mu 2. You know this earlier we have discussed. Similarly, variance of y 1 bar minus y 2 bar is important. Here this will be variance of y 1 bar plus variance of y 2 bar and why this you know I have explained earlier and uh, there is no covariance part because why the two samples are collected from two different population and they are independent in nature. So, this will be sigma 1 square by n 1 plus sigma 2 square by n 2. Okay. Now, we are we will create a statistic here that statistics is, that is y 1 bar y 2 bar that is the random variable minus is expected value y 1 bar minus y 2 bar by its variance y 1 bar minus y 2 bar. This is nothing but y 1 bar minus y 2 bar minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by sigma 1 square by n 1 plus sigma 2 square by n 2. Okay. So, this is the statistic. So, what will be its distribution? If sigma 1 and sigma 2 known and coming from the normal population then we can assume that this will be this will be z distribution unit normal distribution so in that case we can write this that probability l we are interested to know probability l less than equal to y1 bar minus y2 bar minus mu1 minus mu2 divided by sigma 1 square by n 1 plus sigma 2 square by n 2 u equal to 1 by minus alpha that is interest of interest. So, we want this. So, essentially what you require you require l and u. So, if you see the last class first to second or third slides where we have given that when you go for t and you dist, uh, jet distribution. So, depending on this suppose it can be t it can be jet distributed if it is suppose if it, this is jet distributed then already I have explained this minus z alpha by 2 plus z alpha by 2 if it is t distribution then this will be minus t n minus uh, minus t its degrees of freedom suppose d i write let me write alpha by 2 and this side my plus t d is degree d o f degree of freedom uh, into alpha by 2. So, this is l here this is u here and and for z this one is l and this one is u. So, you what you do confidence interval when you try to find out y 1 bar minus y 2 bar minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by sigma 1 square by n 1 plus sigma 2 square by n 2 then this less than equal to you write minus z alpha by 2 plus z alpha by 2 or you write t 
minus t alpha by 2 d o f less than equal to this quantity less than equal to plus t d o f alpha by 2. Okay. So, you have to understand that what is the um, what is your um, I can say that situation whether it is t or z situation accordingly. So, ultimately what happened you just see the some of the slide the concept is given to you. Now, <coughs> what happened you see that if it is z distribution this is the equation and uh, from this you can very easily come to this this equation y 1 bar minus y 2 bar minus z alpha by 2 into this variance part and there this will be this. For normal population with known sigma 1 sigma 2 for non normal population with known sigma 1 sigma 2, but for large sample size the situation when it will be used you use this formula for computation of confidence interval for difference between two population means it is that for all normal population when sigma 1 and sigma 2 the variances are known for all other population when variance sigma 1 square sigma 2 square standard deviation is are known and large sample size you have taken into consideration. Okay. So, what will happen <coughs> as okay, one example is given here. So, the example is we have chosen two filter filter type 1 and filter type 2 the filter is a factor it has two levels one is uh, filter type 1 and type 2 and you have you have run the experiment 12 times using filter type 1 and 12 times using filter type 2 obviously randomized design it is not that the in sequence only with filter type 1. So, then what is required to know we are interested to know what is the 95 percent confidence interval for the difference between two population means that means the response time uh, see that is that uh, level at detection signal at level at detection whether they are different if we use different filter types. Okay. So, essentially what I mean to say you have conducted experiment that is the radar scope experiment radar scope experiment. So, your y variable of interest is signal level at detection. So, here your two populations are two populations are two levels of that filter type 1 is filter type 1 is one first population filter type 2 is second population. Please remember this is nothing but the two levels of these are the two levels level 1 and level 2 level 1 and level 2 of filter type. When I explained the experiment in, in, in first few lectures, we explained that there are two levels and and that is so that means le factor levels are treated as population. Okay. So, other way I can say that you are doing the experiment with type 1 type 1 filter and type 2 filter this is level 1 this is when you are doing experiment whatever result you are getting that is from we are saying that from population 1 whatever result you are getting that coming from population 2. So, that means this 12 observations here. So, n 1 equal to 12 observations again n 2 equal to 12 observations here you have collected in your sole interest to see that whether the mean y mean y mean will differ for the two or not important because when you your a factor ha, a factor has two levels you can do this okay so <coughs> now then what we have computed we have computed mean y for population 1 that is level type filter type 1 and filter type 2 and the variance 6.5 and 5.5 is it given is yes, 6.5 and 5.5 standard deviation which is the square root of variance is given okay in 1 equal to n 2 equal to 12 and you have used mean this random variable minus z 
into the variance component a standard deviation and then this plus z and standard deviation path. So, the resultant quantity 8.37 uh, this will be this this is mu in the sense it is basically we, we try to write theta that is mu 1 minus mu 2. So, 8.37 to 16.63 that means the confidence interval 95 percent confidence interval of mu 1 minus mu 2 in this case is 8.37 to 16.63. Okay. <coughs> so, what is your interpretation? Interpretation is that what is the y uh, what is the uh, point estimate y 1 bar minus y 2 bar 101.58 minus 89.08. So, this value is 0, then 5, then this is 92891. So, 12.50. So, if you go by 12.5, then then if I write this side that this is my y 1 bar uh, this the difference between two population means. So, um, y 1 bar minus y 2 bar this is the axis point estimate somewhere here 12.50 and interval estimate will be 8.37 to 16 this is 16.63 and this is 8.37. So, 95 percent of the data will fall under this. So, this is my distribution and 95 percent of the data points will be within this range. Okay. So, when you take decision you also should consider that it can be as low as this as high as this, but average value is this this is the decision. <coughs> now, go for the second one confidence interval between two population means the special case very important one. Most of the time we assume that the two population variances are equal that means, sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square equal to sigma square. So, what I say we are saying that whether you use type 1 filter or type 2 filter, type 2 filter in the radar score experiment the mean value will differ, but the standard deviation will not differ. So, it may be it may, may not be a correct uh, assumption for this case, but many a time we will we will consider this and it is also true. So, when you know that means, sigma your things are becoming little better because you when you calculate the population variance for the mean from filter 1 or filter 2 you take uh, the data point that is uh, uh, the when the difference you take these two. So, now what happen ok for the time being you write you think like this that the this is this is this is uh, equal sigma square later uh, the this con other concept what I suppose to tell you I uh, will not tell now I will tell later on because it requires something more. So, under the under such situation what we will do? Will we will we use that the variance part is like this that means, variance of y 1 bar minus y 2 bar is this. So, then it will be what sigma 1 square sigma square sigma square into 1 by n 1 plus 1 by n 2 correct. So, Suppose, suppose what happens that you do not know the sigma square, this sigma square is not known, sigma not known. If sigma is known, sample size is large or sigma known and coming from normal population, the z distribution fantastic, no problem. Suppose, sigma equal but not known under this situation you can find out the sigma estimate the sigma 
not from its one population or from only data from type 1 filter or data for type 2 filter rather you mix them and get pooled pooled variants that is what want to tell you the pooled variants is very important because if sigma 1 square equal to sigma 2 square equal to sigma square and then you may expect that their sample variance will be equal, but that will never happen. So, uh, it may happen it will it should it will not happen actually. As now then as this is the assumption and it is assumed to be true. So, why cannot we take all the this n 1 plus n 2 observations together and calculate the variance that is known as pooled variance. So, we will not take we will not merge them and then finally, up to, to if it is n 1 a plus n 2 data points and we find out the s square using the formula. Rather, we use a different formula which is known as s p square is the pooled variance. This is n 1 minus 1 s 1 square plus n 2 minus 1 s 2 square by n 1 plus n 2 minus 2. Okay. <coughs> now, this you what you will do that means your this value is known. Once this value is known, and as we as we know the sigma is not known, this is no this is known, and many a times it the sample size will be not be large also. So, whatever, but even if sample size is large, you will use t distribution, no difference because for last sample size j and t distribution coincides. So, now see this slide. So it is a t distribution case. So, you know that minus t alpha by 2 that is l and here d o f u will be plus t alpha by 2 d o f. Now, what will be the d o f in this case? d o f in this case is n 1 plus n 2 minus 2. So, that is what is written here. What we have written? That our random variable of interest is the average difference y 1 bar minus y 2 bar and we are interested to find out the confidence interval mu 1 minus mu 2. Now, this is this s p will be used in place of sigma and s p is computed using this formula. So, it follows t distribution with n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 de degrees of freedom n 1 plus n 2 2 degrees of freedom. Okay. So, now see one example, yes example is given that same example as the number of uh, because here a sigma 1, sigma 2 not known and the sample size is 12 per population, it is not a large sample also and what we will do? We will use, we, we assume that the population variances are equal under such situation, we will use the formula what is given what is this s p square formula n 1 minus 1 means 12 minus 1 it is 11 into the s 1 square 11 into s 2 square by 12 plus 12 minus 2 that is 22. So, s p square is coming as 47.625 s p is square root of this this. Now, the formula y 1 bar minus y 2 bar that value is 1.56 minus t n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 that is 22 alpha by 2 0 0.05. You see that in this this is the t table distribution table. So, degree of freedom is 22 alpha is 0 0.025 and the t value. So, what I mean to say that t n 1 plus n 2 minus 2 alpha by 2 equal to t 12 plus 12 minus 2 into 0 0.05 by 2 this is t 22 0 0.025 and from table you get this value is 0 7 2.07387 2.07387. So, from the slide what you, you you will see that you will see that T 22 0 0.025 equal to 2.07387 and you put this formula and you are getting this interval. Okay. 
So, it is coming minus. So, S p is this and 1 by 1 minute formula 1 by n 1 2 by 12 means 1 by 6 t is this value y 1 bar minus y 2 bar y 1 bar minus y 2 bar same example we have taken y 1 bar minus 12.56. Okay. So, there is a calculation mistake I think it will be 12.53 okay, 12 and it is 12.53 I, I think. Okay. Anyhow, so what I mean to say that you use this formula, formula y 1 bar minus y 2 bar and here y 1 bar minus y 2 bar is 12.5. So, if I consider this formula that 12.53 minus 2.07387 into S p value is our what is our S p value 6.901 into root over 2 by and that is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 2 by 12 this plus minus this is the interval. Okay. So, you calculate this. Now, <clears throat> now we will discuss another concept called confidence interval for the ratio of two population variances. So, here we will use S 1 square by sigma 1 square and S 2 square by sigma 2 square. So, <clears throat> this because we are considering n 1 minus uh, that this quantity we will statistics we will create and uh, we will see that this can be written as n 1 minus 1 s 1 square by sigma 1 square into n 1 minus 1 divided by n 2 minus 1 s 2 square by sigma 2 square into n 2 minus 1. So, this quantity is chi square distribution following chi square distribution this follows chi square distribution divided by their respective degrees of freedom. So, chi square variable by degree of freedom by chi square another chi square by degree of freedom this will be f distribution and with n 1 minus 1 n 2 minus n 2 minus 1 n 1 minus 1 and n 2 minus 1 degrees of freedom. Okay. So, that means this quantity follows f distribution. So, what you, you have data you, you what you want to know you want to know the ratio. So, you are interested to find out interval something like this. So, you create what you will do suppose how would you create you think that this is a distribution. So, this one is alpha by 2 here also you take another area alpha by 2 then this is f n 1 minus 1 n 2 minus 1 alpha by 2 and this value will be f n 1 minus 1 n 2 minus 1 1 minus alpha by 2. So, this is my low value this is my upper value. So, then what happen s 1 square by sigma 1 square and s 2 square by sigma 2 square will lie in between f this lower value n 1 minus 1 n 2 minus 1 1 minus alpha by 2 f alpha by 2 n 1 minus 1 n 2 minus 1. So, and now you manipulate this and you will be getting this. This slide that is slide s 1 square by s 2 square divided by f n 1 plus minus 1 n 2 minus 1 alpha by 2 sigma 1 square by sigma 2 and this. So, this is the formula. Okay. Now, see the suppose the same example filter type 1 and filter type 2 you want to construct the ratio of the vari variances. So, uh, that S 1 square what is what is the formula here? Formula is S 1 square by S 2 square. Okay. So, S 1 square by S 2 square this is 1.563 then what is the f value 
Hmm, f value, what will be the f value? f value will be So, f a what is n 1? n 1 equal to 12, n 2 equal to 12. So, what you require f of um, 11, 11 and 1 minus 0 0.025, this value you find out and another one f 11, 11, 0 0.025 you found out and put there. Mm, put in into these equations and then calculate this one. So, okay. So, as, uh, just uh, in order just to uh, uh, do this one, what is this uh, that uh, conclude that please remember that you first required to know in the confidence interval you required to know the random variable of interest. When it is single population, then the either mean or your standard uh, variance will be variable of interest and, and you create a statistic particularly using the central limit theorem here and here also the based on the distribution what it will follow, you create the statistic. Find out the statistic the appropriate uh, probability distribution for this statistic. So, some many times z distribution, t distribution for y bar, chi square and uh, for f distribution for variance. So, appropriate statistics here will be z dot t, here will be chi square or f. Then you you choose the in, uh, that, that uh, alpha significance level, significance level, significance level usually we say it is alpha and this will give you the lower limit and upper limit and you choose in such a manner that L this uh, statistics. So, it will u it will be 1 minus alpha and then put uh, take uh, from table from appropriate table find out the lower value and upper value put here and you get the confidence interval. Okay. So, thank you very much. Chalo